It says going on. My name is Louis and God bless every single one of you. Today is July 24, 2024. And welcome to the Real GS News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And we have a big breaking news red alert. It says here you have major event outside of the Watergate Hotel where Benjamin is staying. So you have a whole bunch of people out there and you have a whole bunch of people out there and you guys already know these people are the ones that's been out there holding flyers and holding their flag. You guys seen those video, I'm not gonna mention their name, the Palestine, you know who. So they are out there in front of that hotel where Benjamin is staying. Mm. All right, so we're going to keep it updated on this one. We have more breaking news updates. Here we go. We have a lot of uh, a lot of WW3 news coming out. We have multiple WW3 news coming out. So once again, WW3 warning as UKR commander tells West, time is no longer on our side. We have more breaking news updates. Here we go. Kim North K warns of nuclear world war ww3 we have more breaking news updates once again it says here british chief of staff said we have three years to prepare for biblical war against the axis of unrest that includes the bear the red dragon north k and persia we have more breaking news updates we have a short clip here. A portion of the 4-6 pre-recording uh, address scheduled for tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time has been leaked. Once again, we're going to get to all this here, guys. We have more breaking news updates. Here we go. The bear. The bear leader says that his country nuclear arsenal is much more advanced and a sleeping giant. And to be honest, he's right. They do have the uh, powerful T-Saw Bomba that uh, is at least 50 times stronger than the ones we, we dropped in 1945. All right, so Elon said the bear leader Vladimir will think twice before messing with the 4-5. All right, so this is all the information, guys. We're going to get to all this. Uh, but before I start, guys, make sure you check out the videos I posted today. I've been really busy today, and <clears throat> I was supposed to do Patreon. Once again, guys, I will get to the Patreon, and I will let you guys know. I truly apologize. Um, here we go. Make sure you check out this channel here. I've been posting vi uh, videos left and right on the Rise Up Warrior. One two and three three videos all right so make sure you check them out very important videos here guys also i did post some videos over on my other channel the real gs news make sure you subscribe to this channel too and i gotta change that picture that's me with the dreadlocks <laughs> man all right so back in the days lewis with the dreadlocks so again one two three videos all right so i've been posting a lot of videos today guys a lot of videos and also make sure you check out what well, you guys already know my main channel grand supreme news one two and three three powerful videos all right so all these information will be in the comments box for those of you that want to send us letters to prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, we do have the PayPal link in the description box. All right, give me a second here, guys. Give me one second. There was this one video, I mean, one article that just came out. And we're going to share this one here. Here we go. WW3 warning. 
As the yellow and blue country commander tells West, time is no longer on our side. So how's this going to work? How's this going to work? In the next 15, 16 weeks, there's going to be a shift. There's going to be new faces. So we're going to see how all this is going to play out. So the former UK Army chief addressed the Royal United Services Institute conference in London on Monday, saying that the West needed to bring its weapon up to speed. It's time to boost it up. What are you guys doing out there? <laughs> well, we're trying to not get involved in WW3. Western leaders should prepare for a WW3. Biblical war on the scale of W1 and W2. If they do not change military strategies, UKR Kiev ambassador has warned that General, I'm going to skip his name, urged officials at a conference in London the West needed to up its game and its equipment arsenal with time no longer on our side. The former commander in chief for UKR Armed Forces said that evil was here. Uh, excuse me, here, and it has come to take out in a chilling warning. Mm. Now, it says here, I totally apologize, all these advertisements just popping left and right. Society must agree to temporarily give up a number of free... Whoa, 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 Hold on, dude. What are you talking about here? Society must agree to temporarily give up a number of freedoms. For the yellow and blue? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I mean, we giving... Look, we giving you guys over $200 billion. It's time for you... And the bear country, you guys need to talk things out. Enough is enough. You guys need to talk things out. Enough with these biblical wars. Society must agree to temporarily give up a number of freedoms for the sake of survival. He said, modern biblical wars, unfortunately, are total wars. So, basically, we must sacrifice everything for the yellow and blue. In order to bring peace. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Once again, this person spoke at the Royal United Service Institute's conference, marking his first speech since taking up the post this month. He previously served as UKR military chief when the bear leader Vladimir ordered the ground offensive in 2022, but was dismissed in February. He was dismissed. It was dismissed because they weren't doing a great job. And they still not doing a great job. Give me a second here, guys. What's going on? Uh, too much advertisement. Slow down. <laughs> he said UKR risk losing the biblical war without rapid technological military advancement. And that the West was on the precipice of a global scale conflict. Addressing officials, he said... Is humanity ready to calmly accept the next war in terms of the scale of suffering? This time, WW3. Free and democratic countries and their gov need to wake up and think about how to protect your citizens in their lands, he said. We are ready to share all our knowledge. He added that if the West wanted peace, and must prepare to face biblical war. It comes as biblical news. Uh, excuse me. It comes as news emerged that UK military had test fired a laser beam. Wow, which could destroy targets for more than a kilometer from an army vehicle for the first time. The MOD has held the weapon, which travels at a speed of light, as groundbreaking and will be more affordable than new uh, than missiles or bullets. UKR remains hungely concerned about its vulnerability from the bare troops from the air. The leader, Mr. Zelensky, has repeatedly urged the need for extra air defense system to protect from the bare aggression. 
extra this, extra that. He really asking for a lot. It's too much. At the end of the day, we have to pay for those stuff. I mean, we have to put food on the table. It, it's just really hard on us. Once again, we have the sleeping giant mother, Britain, new secretary of, you know what, Mr. John, also addressed Monday conference saying he was concerned about the impact of what he said were decades of cuts on Britain's armed forces. It just too much is being spent. The defense minister said there was a rapidly increasing warning that and that there were really serious times. The bear is far from a spent force, he added. He said at this world as this world becomes more dangerous, we are relying more heavily on your bravery and on your professionalism. But the principle of one defense also becomes increasingly more important. The days that we can indulge in terror service. Give me a second here, guys. Too many advertisements. There we go. In inter-service rivalry are over. We must be too fit to fight, not fight amongst ourselves. I really want to see the old uh, rivalries left behind. I really want with you to establish a new era of UK defense because we know all three services face very serious challenges. The defense secretary listed issues including procurement, waste, low moral, and a recruitment and reintention crisis in veterans who can't access the services they deserve. All right, so that's the, that's the first one there, guys, UKR are saying that we must prepare and get stuff ready. WW3 is around the corner. Sweet. Seems like the computer's freezing up. That's a bad thing about this uh, website. They really freeze everything up. Give me a second here, guys. Give me a second. I have to close this window. Now, this is the mirror. All right, this is the website, the mirror. And every time I click on this website, it's, it slows my computer so bad. It does, it slows my computer so bad. <clears throat> so we have Britain here warned. It has three years to prepare for WW3 due to specific threats. Now, all these information are coming out today. All right, so it says here possible of the Red Dragon invasion of Taiwan could spiral into a global conflict, or even WW3, that Britain Army is not fully prepared for, a top UK general has warned. <coughs> I was doing some of that. <laughs> I was doing some of that uh, a couple of days ago. Trying to burn the fat. All right, so it says here the UK only has three years to booster its armies. Fighting power to handle a WW3-style warning from an axis of upheaving evil, excuse me, including the bear and the red dragon, a general has said. General, I'm going to skip his name, the new chief of the general staff, warned time there was... Just enough time to reestablish a credible lead force to deter hostile nations from going to war with the West. Among the countries he believed posed a threat include the Red Dragon, the Bear, North K, and Persia. Once again, the general general said he did not think it matter how the biblical war in UKR would end, as the bear would emerge from the conflict as a very, very dangerous entity that seeks out revenge on the UK over what we have done to help. To help? You guys stuck your nose in their business. <laughs> you guys help UKR take out the bear soldiers. Of course you should be worried. You took out the bear soldiers. You stuck your nose in their operation. 
it's like the bear giving equipments to Mexico. And the Mexico, again, Mexico using the bear equipments to take our sleeping giant soldiers out. The sleeping giant is going to seek revenge, right? Right? The sleeping giant is going to be like, we ain't going to forget what you did, bear. You took out our soldiers. You sent your equipments to Mexico, and they used your equipments to take out our soldiers. We're not going to forget this. So, again, I don't blame the bear. I don't blame the bear. We stuck our nose in their operation. And now, all of a sudden, it seems like NATO, Britain, and the sleeping giants are kind of fearful now. Where they should be. Like I said, next time, don't stick your nose in other people's business. The ex-Special Forces chief, who previously survived a stint in Afghan, said it was vital to enhance the lethality of the UK Armed Forces so it could tackle a force three times its size. It's like this, don't start nothing, there won't be nothing. <laughs> so, but a sleeping giant, they start a lot of stuff. According to the Times, he said the army, which has some 72,500 troops, might have to take on the warning with old equipment as new vehicles and artillery might not be ready in time. He told the Land Warfare Conference at the Royal United States Institute, we have just enough time to prepare, act, and assure the reestablishment of credible, uh, credible land forces to support a strategy of the tyrants. Hmm. Although this general admitted that the UK was not hurtling uh, towards the inexorable path to war. He added the need urgent the uh, the need is urgent to booster the army's capability. The UK needed to apply all strength as a free market democracy against the weaknesses of their rigid autocratic command economies, the general continued. He believes the UK has until twenty twenty seven or twenty twenty eight to increase the army's capability and wanted, to, and wanted to double the army ability to fight. The general warned a potential invasion of the island nation of Taiwan. By the Red Dragon could possibly drag the sleeping giant and Britain into a WW3. The bear could also sufficiently rearm with the help of the Red Dragon, Persia, and North K. <clears throat> he warned. Now, Vladimir might also feel very angry and resentful by then and that the biblical war could de detonate another wave of conflict, the general said. But here's the thing. Stop messing around. Stop sending stuff to these lands. All right, let's go to the very, very end on this one here. The general warning echoes those of General, you got Sir Patrick, who has been head of the British Army since 2022, who said earlier this year that the West has not been as close to biblical war since 1945. He also warned the UK armed forces were both underfunded and overstretched. A possible Red Dragon invasion of the island also posed an enormous threat to global stability, according to Sir Patrick. He acknowledged the UK's strong cybersecurity, but highlighted the uh, differences in other areas such as air defense. That's where we at. Now let's see what's going on with this story here. Give me a second here, guys. Give me a second. Isn't this beautiful? All these W... Guys, WW3 news. This is all WW3 news coming out right now. The Bear and North K sign new deal as WW3 fears explode. We have another new deal? Vladimir and Kim deepening 
Alliance has raised concerns for NATO and his allies. There you go. There you go. So the Bear and North K have signed a new agreement to expand their cooperation on countering crime, deepening ties between the two nations, and raising global concerns. Now, a Bear delegation led by Prosecutor General Edgar met with the North K official headed by his counterpart Kim in Pyongyang. That's the capital of North K. Now, during these talks, they signed a series of agreements focused on law enforcement, legal assistance. Give me a second here, guys. There we go. Legal assistance in criminal cases and collaboration against crimes, including cyber. According to the Bear Prosecutor General Office, now this new deal follows a June agreement between the Bear leader Vladimir and North K leader Kim on military assistance in the event of a strike on either country. This earlier agreement drew con condemnation from both Seoul and Washington. So that's South Korea capital, and you guys already know that's U.S. capital. So you have this person here, Krasnov, praised the positive direction of the Bear North K relations and highlighted the potential of the Treaty on Comprehensive Strategic Partnership signed by Vladimir and Kim to stabilize the situation in Northeast Asia and contribute to maintaining a balance of power in the region. So you have the bear capital, Moscow and Pyongyang, the North K capital, want others to think their partnership is locked in and moving from strength to strength. Patrick, Asia Pacific Security Chair at the Hudson Institute, told Newsweek. However, this alliance is likely to strengthen security coordination among the U.S., Japan, and South Korea. The bear and North K, along with the Red Dragon and Persia, are regarded by Washington as the big four greatest cyber warnings to the West. The 2024 warning assessment by the U.S. Office of the Director of National Intelligence noted that Pyongyang cyber have matured and can target a wide array of strategy objectives, including those in the Sleeping Giant and South K. Despite his ongoing invasion of UKR, the bear capital continues to pose a significant cyber. Mm. And that's where we are right now. Give me a second here. Hold on. I think we have one more here. Chris, on Monday, a professor at South K, let me skip all that information, told North K News that Chris Nov who is highly trusted by Vladimir, the leader of Russia, was likely dispatched to discuss sensitive issues privately. It's doubtful that they would actually discuss any legal issue, but North K may seek advice on how to evade sanctions or make its cyber operation more profitable. The Bear Foreign Ministry and the North K Embassy in the Red Dragon have not yet commented on a new agreement. There you go. You have all these uh, war preparation. Look at this now. North K. Kim. North K warns nuclear world war. This information is coming out July 23rd. Once again, Kim is not messing around. This is why you have Donald. He told Kim, "Put uh, you know, put your nukes away. You know, I'm coming and 
November, you know, we're going to talk about this. And, you know, Kim right now, he's not pleased. He's not pleased with the Sleeping Giant. It says here the Sleeping Giant and his allies are verging on a nuclear war and a global scale, according to North K State Media. The official newspaper of the country of North K Monday released a nationalistic article marking the upcoming anniversary of July 27, 1953, the amistice that ended hostilities in the Korean War. Now, the article uh, credited North K founder Mr. Kim II grandfather of current leader Kim with a victory over the self-proclaimed strongest sleeping giant imperialist and their followers that prevented a new world war that could have brought global disaster and catastrophe thereby willingly safeguarding world peace however even before the ink of the amistice agreements dried the sleeping giant in South K began holding regular war games with an eye towards the North, which have continued to this day, the paper wrote. The exercises have become increasingly blunted and cruel year by year, now boldly crossing the red line of a new nuclear world war all right so we again we're gonna skip a lot of this stuff here guys very long article but the sleeping giant department of defense and north k embassy and the red dragon did not immediately respond to written requests for comments North K is basically warning warning the sleeping giant the US and South K South Korea about all these exercises that could lead to great world war. And that's where we are right now, guys. Now let me take it back on Twitter and see if there's any updates here. We have more of these breaking news trash stuff. Breaking trash from North K balloon lands on South K. And you guys already know, we've seen this many times. North K is uh, really fed up with South K. So they just dumping trash in their, in their region. Alright, so it seems like this is all the information, guys, for tonight. Like I said, I would keep it updated with all these news. But make sure you check out my videos I posted today. All the links will be in the comments box. If I get a chance to share it, I haven't been sharing the links. Because it's almost, yeah, it's really late. It's late. And, you know, I try to... Um, post these videos a little early but again guys I'm a busy man I'm working constantly just to uh, you know again you guys know the inflation stuff but uh, again this is where we are right now guys so I'm gonna keep it update uh, updated on all these news let me show you one more thing before I end it there is a video that was released shocking H A M A S video warns of possible strike uh oh, Olympics. So I'm not gonna read all this here, but this is what the video, the stuff in the video. Now I'm gonna share this video. It's translated into English too. 
And that's where we are right now, guys. We need to pray for Benjamin because he's out there in the Watergate Hotel. And there's some people out there, too. <laughs> Man, uh, it's just really tough nowadays, guys. It's really tough. And uh, as we get closer and closer to November, we could see some things here, guys. We could see some things. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month patreon we get your access to our live stream every sunday we talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform also i posted videos today those link will be in the comments box thank you so much for watching god bless you all Put faith and trust in jesus christ for he's the only way the truth and the life no one gets to the father but through jesus thank you so much for watching till next time later peace